Do you dread going through airport security with your kids? In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to make that process go much more smoothly. And I will also share with you my best kept secret on how to get through airport security in eight minutes flat. So keep watching. If you're new to Top Flight Family, my name is Carmen, we're the Sunyovi family, and we are all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our next video. Also be sure to follow us on Instagram at Top Flight Family. One of the things that people dread the most about flying is getting through airport security. But getting through it with kids doesn't have to be that difficult. We always fly out of either LaGuardia or JFK in New York City, two of the world's busiest airports. And on average, from the time we step into the airport terminal to the time we finish clearing security, it takes only eight minutes. But before I share the secret of how I do it, here are a few preliminary things you need to do first. Number one. Make sure everyone is on a single reservation. If you or your travel agent skip the step, then you're gonna be forced to talk to the ticketing agent at the check-in counter, which is another line for you to wait in. But if every family member is on a single reservation with one record locator, then you can check in online up to 24 hours before. If you don't know what a record locator is, it's the six letter digit combination code on your airline reservation. If your kids are on a separate reservation than you, it's gonna look like they're flying alone and you won't be able to check them in without spending a lot of time standing in line talking to a ticket agent. So make sure your flights are booked correctly. I highly recommend that you check in on the airline app and screenshot the QR code boarding passes. Each adult in the party should have everyone's boarding pass screenshots saved on their phone, just in case of an internet outage or if the app goes down. This way you won't need to check in at a kiosk and you'll have everything you need to head straight to security. Number two, pack carry-on luggage only. It may sound impossible, but it's actually really easy to do. And when you do this, you avoid the bad drop line, which saves you a ton of time. I actually have a whole video on how you can pack carry-on only with kids. So I will link that below and you can also access it up there. Number three, make sure your passport is valid for at least six months. This is important for international flights because there are some countries out there that will not let you in if your passport expires in less than six months. So you won't even be able to get on your flight. Now, before I share my next tip, I wanted to let you know that I've put together a free guide on the nine ways that you can add some luxury to your next family vacation. If you wanna get your free copy, just go to topflightfamily.com luxury and put in your email address. And I'm gonna link that below as well. Number four, make sure you have a real ID. If you fly domestically within the US on or after October 2020, you are not going to be able to get on your flight with a, just a standard driver's license like you did before. You're going to need to have either a real ID or an enhanced state driver's license. So the requirements vary slightly from state to state. So the best thing to do is to check with your state's DMV. And don't wait till the last minute on this because I can guarantee there will be a rush of people doing this right before October. So get it done quickly, get it done now so that you'll be ready. Okay, now that we've gotten those preliminaries out of the way, here is how you can get through airport security in eight minutes flat. Number five get TSA Pre. TSA Pre is a program where you can register as a trusted traveler, which means that you get access to a shorter security line and you don't have to take off your shoes or take out your liquids when you're going through security. Another benefit is that most people who have TSA Pre are seasoned travelers. So you won't be stuck waiting behind someone who has no idea how airport security works and who holds up the rest of the line. It costs $85 for five years. Kids under the age of 12 are free. So if you are a family of four like us, it costs $170 for five years, which works out to just $34 per year. Number six, get global entry. If you travel a lot internationally, you're actually better off getting global entry, which includes TSA Pre for free. That's what we have. When you re-enter the US from another country, with global entry, you won't have to deal with a long immigration line because you're gonna clear border patrol at special global entry electronic kiosks instead of waiting to talk to the officers. This saves a lot of time as well. Global entry costs $100 for five years, but unlike TSA Pre, each kid is actually going to need their own membership. So if you're a family of four like us, it costs $400 for five years, which works out to $80 per year. That's a little bit more than TSA Pre, but if you're trying to get the kids home after a long flight, being able to skip those long immigration lines is 
such a treat. If you pay for either TSA Pre or Global Entry using one of the big travel credit cards like Chase Sapphire Reserve or American Express Platinum, the credit card will actually credit the cost back to your statement, so you're basically getting it for free. Okay, the next step is probably the most important thing you need if you're going to clear airport security in eight minutes, and that is number seven, sign up for clear. Having TSA Pre or Global Entry is already going to save you a lot of time, but if you want to kick it up a notch, get a membership with Clear. So Clear actually works with individual airports to create a dedicated screening line. Essentially, having a Clear membership allows you to skip to the front of either the regular security line or the TSA Pre line if you have that as well. We love it because it saves even more time, and there have been times when the TSA pre-line at the airport was closed for some reason, and Clear saved us from having to spend 45 minutes standing in the regular security line. Also, it's pretty cool to not even have to show any ID because Clear checks you in using biometrics like your fingerprints. Clear is $179 per year, and with a family plan, you can add up to three adults for $50 each per year. Kids under 18 are free. So if you're a family of four like us, it would come out to $229 per year. But if you wanna save, keep an eye out for specials. At the time that I'm making this video, for example, there are certain airline frequent flyer programs like Delta Sky Miles and United Mileage Plus that are offering their members a discount on clear memberships. Our family got a fantastic discount, for example, through Delta, so we pay much, much less than the sticker price. Honestly, without TSA pre, global entry, and clear, you're not likely to get through airport security at a busy airport in less than eight minutes. But what if you don't have any of those things? Are there still things you can do to kind of make the process go a little quicker? Absolutely, here's a checklist for you. Take off your hat and sunglasses. Make sure these are both off before you enter the security line as they're going to interfere with the agent's ability to identify you. Have your ID and boarding pass in hand as you approach the security line. Of course, if you have clear, you're not gonna need ID since they'll use your fingerprints, but you'll still need to have your boarding pass out. If you have all of this stuff prepared, you won't be fumbling when you get to the beginning of the line and hold everyone else up. Wear the right shoes. If you don't have TSA Pre, you're gonna to need to take off your shoes when you go through security. So wear shoes that are easy to slip on and off and always wear socks for hygiene purposes. And if you do have TSA Pre, avoid shoes with metal buckles because those may set off the sensor. Don't wear belts or jewelry. You'll have to take off belts and metal jewelry before you go through security, which is a hassle and it burns valuable time. So plan your airport outfit to be one that doesn't require a belt or any jewelry. Now, if you really absolutely have to wear them, keep them in your carry-on bag and then put the belt or jewelry on after you get through security. Use your jacket pockets instead of your pants pockets. You should consider keeping miscellaneous items in your jacket pocket instead of your pants pocket so that when you take off your jacket to send it through the scanner, everything goes with it. Otherwise, if you keep everything in your pants pockets, you're gonna have to empty out those pants pockets before going through the scanner, which also takes up a lot of time. Empty your water bottle. If you're carrying a water bottle, make sure it's empty before you enter the security line. Now, even experienced travelers can make this mistakes, AKA me, <laughs> especially on a return flight at the end of your trip and you forgot that you still had water left over in the bottle. Take off your outer layer. If you're wearing a jacket, heavy sweater, or cardigan, be sure to wear something appropriate underneath in case you're asked to take it off, which you probably will. Keep toiletries within limits. This means that all liquids, creams, and gels must be in a 3.4 ounce bottle or smaller, and all of them have to fit into a single one quart size bag per person. If you struggle with keeping your toiletries within the TSA's limits, here's a pro tip. For many products, you can substitute liquids with solids. So instead of packing shower gel, pack bar soap, or instead of packing spray deodorant, pack solid deodorant. You can even buy solid perfume that comes packaged in what looks like a makeup compact. Things like shampoo and conditioner can also be bought as bars. Lush Cosmetics is a great place to go for this. Remove laptops and tablets. If you don't have TSA Pre, you're gonna need to remove your laptop or tablet and place it in a separate security bin for screening. So be sure that you pack it in such a way that it's easily accessible when you're going through the security line. And that's a good rule to follow in general because even if you do have TSA Pre, you may still sometimes be asked to remove these devices. That actually happened to us on our recent flight to the Bahamas, so it's always good to be prepared. All right, if you follow this checklist, getting through airport security is gonna be a breeze. But if on top of that, you also 
have TSA pre or global entry and clear, you can practically skip the security line altogether. If you want to learn about nine ways you can add some luxury to your next family vacation, just click there to watch that video. I'll see you over there and thanks for watching.